My name is Rob Green. I'm the author of a book called Turning Wounds to Wisdom. And today I want to talk about how to process trauma and how it relates to how we live our lives. So I'm a free diver. And when I dive down in the ocean, when I go to deep depths below 20 meters, I'll always check the undercurrents to see which way they're pushing. And the reason why is because if there's a strong undercurrent and I don't calculate it correctly, I can get swept away and drown. So these undercurrents really determine where the surface current moves, and sometimes they don't move in the same direction. The same is true with our emotions. Our emotions are the undercurrent of our actions and our thoughts. If we feel a positive emotion, we're going to think positive thoughts. And the other side of that is if we feel a negative emotion, we're going to think negative thoughts. So they're interconnected and they kind of run one another. The emotion is the battery for the thought process in the brain. Whenever there's a disconnection between emotion and thought, it's usually forced and the emotion is going to manifest itself in another way, at another time, and another place. So just because you trick your mind into not thinking about something, or just because something comes up and you don't really want to deal with it at the time, ignoring it, distracting yourself from it, trying to justify it, overcompensating it in another area, you know, using your trauma to project you for growth forward in another area is one of the most healthy outlets to deal with it. However, it doesn't mean it resolves it. It just basically puts you in a position where you've climbed the mountain and now you have all these accomplishments to reflect on, but as soon as your mind is still and as soon as you don't have something to do, these things are going to come back asking for your attention. So. One thing to keep in mind, if you're going through a process of emotional healing, if you've had a lot of really fucked up shit happen in your life, if you've had baggage, if you've had things happen to you that you don't really know how to deal with, you have to be aware that your emotions are going to be governing your thoughts on a very subtle and unconscious level. If you're only addressing the thought without addressing the emotion, then you're going to be able to function to a certain degree, but it's going to create an internal war within yourself. And whenever you're at war with yourself, you're never ever going to find peace because one side is going to push for one way and the other side is going to push another way and neither side is going to give up. So negotiating and finding a way to have diplomatic relations with yourself is a much more efficient way to get over and get through trauma. So one avenue to get there is practicing mature expressions of your emotions. Whenever you feel like you are triggered and you have something coming up, Usually, our mind is going to tell us a story and we're going to get hyper-attached to the story. If we're in a conflict with someone else and we get triggered and get angry, we're going to say all these really nasty, mean things to them. Or we might even act out. We might even want to hit them or attack them. If we allow our emotions to be expressed in an immature way, it's always attached to a story. And if we follow that story to the end, we usually get to the point where we don't have to really process it and it ends up with us justifying and distracting ourselves back to the place that we were. So rather than doing that, whenever you're triggered, just simply call out the emotion for what it is. If someone makes or some memory or something makes you feel angry, just simply call out the emotion. Anger, anger, anger. I feel angry. I feel angry. This event made me feel angry. This event made me feel angry. And don't get too caught up in the story. Eventually, over time, the anger is going to manifest more and more and more and more. And your body is going to go through a process of release. It'll go into a bit of a TRE or a catharsis. When this happens, this kind of opens up the space to clear out the big, I guess, mountain of trash and get that out of the way. Once that's done, then you can go through the gentle process of really starting to reconnect to those parts of yourself. Because anytime you have a traumatic experience, it disconnects you from a part of yourself from when it happened. And that part of yourself is longing to reconnect with you. It can't do that because this emotion and this negative experience is in the way. Whenever you move the negative experience out of the way, then you allow yourself the space to reconnect with a part of yourself that you lost in that trauma.